Okay, what's going on, guys? And welcome to a brand new episode of Energize Ross. Introduce the guest, man. We have one of Ireland's greatest D. strikers. D. Roy, D. The greatest striker from Ireland over in Dubai. It's Craig Coco Coakley. Craig, how are you doing? And how is life in Dubai? All good, lads. Uh, life in Dubai is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a fighter's life out here. Really is uh, training is something else. Some of the body stuff we're getting to move out here is something else. It, it, it must be. And h- how long have you been there, Craig? And what was it like the climatization factor? Because obviously it's it's a big dry heat over in the desert over there. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be here sixteen days altogether. But I'm here nearly two weeks. I think it is two weeks now. Uh, climatize. Kind of. I've been in Thailand, so we've been used to the dry heat. It's a it's a little bit more humid here than Thailand, but uh, I think there's a, a little bit of Mexican in me or something like that. Because, <laughs> as you can see, I have a good colour. Yeah, you look at burritos good. you're eating, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but well, Craig, obviously you're fighting this Friday. Uh, against between, Dennis from Turkey. Against Dennis from Turkey between yeah. 3 and 5. We're gonna you have, For the people that want to tune in, you have to download the app. The app is free. I've downloaded it. It's very, very straightforward. So we're going to put a link in the bio below. Whether you're listening on Spotify, iTunes, or watching on YouTube, go down to the bio, hit the link, download the app. It's free to tune in and watch Craig this Friday. Craig, we're absolutely buzzing to have you on. Uh, how did this all come about, Craig? So I was supposed to fight on victory promotions a couple of weeks ago against a, a lad called Nico Carrillo. Uh, Nico ended up getting injured, so he says. Uh, and he was actually supposed to fight. This is supposed to be his fight. So we uh, texted promotion. We were texting uh, the, the guys out of my time up as, as well. Uh, Jason Woodham, he is the... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he, he, he sorts out the international fighters anyways. So we were texting him and uh, Nico was still supposed to be fighting. And then last minute he kind of says, oh, well, my hand is a little bit more sore. The doctor... <laughs> told him, my the hand's doctor a little told, sore. Yeah, a little sore. Fucking, he told, told the doctors... I told uh, Yeah, the doctor told him to take an extra two weeks off. So we got to fight instead. And now, and now here's the Dennis from Turkey. Nico's, but we ended up taking him. So Nico was originally supposed to fight you, yeah. and then Nico got injured, and then Nico was originally supposed to fight Dennis from Turkey, but now you're fighting Dennis from Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And like once you got that call, were you just like, right, Collie, get pack your pack the bags, bud, we're going. Yeah, we're going. John Joe was on for us the whole time. John John Mitchell was like, uh, "Come on, boys, you have to get over here now." Oh, shout out! <laughs> well, shout out to uh, John Mitchell. What a win at the weekend! Is that a bit? Was that give you a bit of uh, inspiration to go and do the business? Keep that Irish yeah. flag. Saying the way he done it as well. Uh, well, now to, to elbow and DCA, and he, he put an elbow clinic on. It was on the ground, but still an elbow clinic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really, really was. Your man was bust open, and it was, yeah. you know what? It was, it was very, very one sided. He's, he's like the Irish Khabib over there. He was now. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he was. He them. Yeah, he actually <laughs> he did. did. He I, I actually texted him uh, after the fight, and I went, "Smish." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a very good win for John. Uh, the referee probably should have stopped it a little bit earlier. It, it was a bad yeah. hour. Yeah, he was, and his opponent was very strange. He celebrated the loss afterwards. He actually <laughs> celebrated. He was planting. What's the story? Yeah, going over back to the corner. It was a uh, fair, fair play to him. He's a he's a showman. It, this is entertainment at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, but playing still, you, you don't take losses like that on the chin like that. In fairness, he actually oh, celebrated well, losing you. more than John did winning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, was, it was it was bizarre, but Craig, sure Craig, it is what it is. Obviously, Muay Thai is like opening back up in Ireland as well. You had the you had the event that was on in DCA as well. Like, uh, you obviously checked it out. What did you, what did you make of the whole entire event? It was a very good event. Yeah, uh, there was it was all A class fights. Uh, a couple of good lads on it. We had three of our fighters on it: uh, David McLaughlin, uh, Alan McDonald, and Mikey Rizzo. They all had tough fights. It was two of the lads force power fights. And uh, one the one with two losses, 
But uh, all the lads fought really well, and that's all that matters. They, they put their heart and soul into the fight. Yeah, we were in touch with you beforehand just to see like what what fights we should look out for as well. So it was great to see. Yeah, you counter counter going very well. Yeah, Jay did great as well. Yeah, he yeah, did. I, I couldn't believe your man got up off the, off, off the canvas after he hit him with that left hook. He the left hook yeah. yeah, it was it was a serious left hook, and then uh, Zeal uh, had a good fight on the card as well. Yeah, yeah, still had a very good fight. The fella you fought was uh, fairly awkward as well. Uh, in the word style, but we still handled him very well. Yeah, you know what? It's one of those things that I think it's still almost underlooked within Ireland. Um, you know, the Muay Thai game. I think anyone who actually goes to a show will absolutely love it yeah. and, and enjoy it so much. But I think it's getting those people in the door in the first place is uh, is, some, is is sort of the hard barrier to get through. But yeah. ever since I've been to one or two, I'm just like, I'm hooked you on it. Like, yeah, 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 you do. Yeah, you, you, But you're also like, you fall in love with the characters within the show. Like, you, there's there's some great characters. Uh, you know, obviously, Mikey and Dara's fight was like so oh, that, sought yeah. after because, uh, you, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was as well. Yeah. The so promotion, that... Like, that that promotion video for that fight just made everyone. It was the most talked about fight in town, and I think it, yeah. like Mayweather was fighting Logan Paul. No one even mentioned that. It was all about Mikey Rizzo versus Babel yeah. Jim, which is great to see for for everyone who loves combat sports. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and the lads put on uh, a very good show as well, so that makes yeah. it all the better. And do you it, think that do you expect more of them events to keep going? Cause like just for the people tuning I in, I hope so. I, I hope to see more events coming up because uh, if they don't, doors my toy is gonna die. Like, no fires are getting fights and everyone's inactive and it's hard to come back from that, you know what I mean? Two years especially sitting on the couch. Well hopefully and they're all sitting on the couch. Hopefully they're all putting a little bit of graft in and working on stuff that they should have been working on throughout this whole time. But uh yeah, hopefully more shows start popping back up. I think people just need to grow a set of balls and just push shows on. Whether yeah. it's underground or, or whether it's pay per view or whatever it might be. Well, I think after that show, it's now seen that it can be done. Yeah. So I think maybe it's time to definitely push on with it. One thing I'd love to see is like an all Irish versus like all UK card. I think that could be something that could be very, very exciting. Uh, That's good something job. that I, I definitely pay money to see. And like, I, I don't even necessarily need to like know the fighters. I just, sometimes I just think like, if you put, yeah. yeah, just just some some form of narrative. Like I don't care if it's all Ireland versus all France or all, all Wales, but like if you do yeah. sort of a, you know, therefore you're backing all the Irish guys. It makes it a bit more interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, I'm sure some. I'm sure people that can make a few moves in the the Irish team are definitely watching this now and they're just writing it down. Make sure, <laughs> make sure, make sure all three of us are invited. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sure. Who knows? Craig Coco Coakley could be the headliner. You know what I mean? Now you you have to you have to dig deep into the wallet to get him now, boy. He could be the no. headliner. Get your checkbooks out, no yourself. <laughs> Craig, Craig get like the boy and trade and spoiled over here now. That's, oh, the thing, that's the thing, Craig. Like if with a win this week with this <laughs> Friday. Do you think that just opens the door for more Irish fighters to, to follow through? Almost the same way Connor did going into the UFC. Do you think this the international scene could be the way yeah. the way for the future? I hope it does. I really hope it does. Uh, I'd like to see a lot of the Irish fighters get get what they deserve and fight on these big shows as well. Uh, like Yacht Gale, like Muay Thai Grand Prix, like UAM. And hopefully then we start coming into one championship and fucking, fucking shit up over there. I, th- I think that's what people want to see. Though. I think you have to progress and you want to see people on the big international stage. And like I said, like the, the show that you guys host in DCA was absolutely incredible. But I think Irish people like to almost back their own and root against someone else. So that's why, like, <laughs> when you're when you when you fight Craig like nine times out of ten at the stage of your career, you're fighting someone from a different country. So I was like, brilliant. Craig's fighting. He's fighting yeah. someone who's not Irish. Behind it. Yeah. So like everyone can just get behind you. You know what I mean? And you know what? The whole Muay Thai community gets behind as well. It's yeah. not just like you're a gym. It's all the gyms are like. Craig's fighting, better check it out. So, um, again, if you are watching this, make sure to check out Craig's fight on Friday. Don't worry, we'll let you know how to download the app. If you have any questions, you can DM us. Don't DM Craig because, like, he couldn't wait. Couldn't wait now. Uh, keep clearing me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, Craig, how good was it to fly Holly out there with you as well for, uh, for this one? Well, I wouldn't be coming out without Holly. Holly's uh, my head coach. Like, <laughs> 
where I am, he is, you know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, he's the one that got me to where I am now, so he'll be sticking with me through it all. Yeah, he's an absolute legend of the game over now. It seems quite evident really? that you're in such a like positive um, training camp there. Obviously, we just mentioned John got the win, so like coming back in, knowing that, like seeing one of your, one of your teammates as of right now, getting the win, just like, um, like obviously you've left your family to go over there, so you're going for the win. John gets the win, everything stays positive, and then Friday you get the win. It's just, um, what, what's it like? What's it like? Just do, do you feel like a lot of pressure, or what? What's sort of the bubble like that you're in now? It's really good. Uh, I might have been training my arse off the past two years for this. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, while everyone watching. was made and out on the session, I was in. Well, we we didn't stop training. Like we we kept the gym open. We 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 didn't stop training. All of us were in the gym. Do you know what I mean? So. I'm after been working two years on some of the stuff that I need to kind of air out the mill toy scored, you know what I mean? Fucking yeah, all day's robbery. So <clears throat> I'm uh, coming in here to make a big statement, and uh, it is really good. There's a serious buzz in, in the two gyms that we're at. So we're in, I'm training now at Muay Thai Muppets as well while I'm over here, and Team Now Girl with John as well. So there's really good buzz in both gyms. All both gyms have great fighters. Uh, there's two lads, El Muay Thai Muppets, that's fighting on the show as well, Ellis Barboja and Josh Ridgewell. And then there's, uh, there was a couple of fighters that had fights the, the weekend just gone on the same card as John. So everyone's after them buzzing, do you know what I mean? And then all the lads back at home, they're after them walking for that fight, the, the fight night. Did he say, well, it wasn't our fight night. It was Mick Pazowski's fight night, but yeah. just ended up we had uh, at the gym. And t- tell us this, Craig, I'm very interested to know, um, have you got to spar with Munir Laziz and how good is he? Because in terms of, from Mem May's standpoint, his striking is phenomenal. Uh, I did get to spar him. He's really, really good. Uh, he's a lot bigger than I am, so uh, he, he was holding back a little bit, but uh, his striking is very good. For an MMA lad, his striking is very good. Yeah, but that never stopped Craig Hoke in the past a few pounds. <laughs> no, I just have to ask because any man, woman, or child. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I had to ask because um, I, I remember Barry actually sent me a video of Munir Laziz. Barry was watching his uh, debut live. I think he was on earlier on the card, and uh, he sent me. He goes, "You have to check out this guy. He's an absolute animal." And yeah. you know what? It's very rare. Me, we see his only top range like in May 4th and it's very rare that it happens and like the last person that we actually sent to each other was Kazma Chimoyev and like it was, that was the last time we were like you have to check out yeah. this guy so like it's because he, he beat Abdul Hassan Razak yeah, yeah. And, yeah and then against them. he put on a proper clinic yeah. against him and Ro- he Ross was telling me he was great and then... toys, to be fair as well like he throws knees like toys throws elbows like toys He's actually getting a little bit of walk in with Collie now as well. So, who knows? He might, he might start trying them DCA elbows as well. Jeez, the two, it sounds like the two of you might uh, t- have to take a permanent residency over there. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, and, and you know what? Boy Combat Academy still stays DCA, you know? Yeah, exactly. Do, do, do Boy Combat Academy. I like the sound of it. And uh, mm. I wouldn't mind going over there to check that out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but you'd be no, more than welcome, mate. It's, it's great also watching all the all the, the footage that you're putting up as well, like just following it. Also, you have the you have the photographer there as well, taking all the snaps. It's uh it's really cool to watch back here, you know. Yeah. Shout out to Pa as well. Yeah, Pa's been following us around the past couple of weeks as well. He he's fairly good. Yeah, he's doing great work. He's new to it as well. Uh yeah, like I don't know. It's just it is really a fighter's life over here. Uh the tree fight is proper. There's, there's no other way about it. Back in Ireland, like, you're not treated proper as a fighter. Like, it's just, it's not good, you know what I mean? Mm. It, you, you know what, not that you'd be embarrassed, but like, if you tell a Joe Soap on the street that like, you fight for a living, they almost were like, they almost like get a bit like reserved from you. They're a bit like, oh, what do you mean? Like yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They don't understand. Yeah, it's like, crazy. It's funny because like, if you describe yourself as an elite, athlete they'd accept it if you know what I mean like if you yeah. played rugby they'd accept it you go, yeah, that's, an and you know what you'd be praised for it and you, you they think you're great but like if you get a, in a ring and like punch someone for a living like they're a bit like just 
he could be a thug, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's, it's yeah, not exactly. like that at all. When fighters are probably the most respectful people out there, you know what I mean? Uh, it's yeah, crazy. The way, it's crazy the way uh, viewers perceive it, anyways. No, oh, absolutely. But uh, come here, how, how does this fight go down on Friday night, uh, Craig? Obviously, you're going in there, you're aggressive, you're looking for the knockout at all times. At all times, do you find his chin this this coming weekend? I find everyone's chin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's a few things that could go down. I've been walking a lot on angles. I've been walking a, a lot on a few other bits. I'm not going to give all my secrets away. You'll see some of it, but you always expect elbows, always expect aggression, and always expect me to come for the finish. Absolutely no messing with our Craig Coco Coakley. He's he's always in there, and um, you'll know the name of the guy. But the last Thai guy you were fighting, well, when I say Thai, he was from Thailand, uh, and the decision didn't go your way. I was watching the going, Hold on, Craig's completely the aggressor here, and I was so confident you were getting your hand raised. Yeah. When I went against you. I was actually I was actually freaked, and like you could see on the stream, it was in your head, wasn't it? Yeah. You could see on the stream, everyone's like, "That was a robbery." Craig won that. That was a robbery. Yeah. Craig won that. And like I suppose it just goes to show your fighting style that you are always in there for the win. You're yeah. looking to take someone's head off at all, all times. And that's what makes you one of the most watchable fighters in the world, not just in our That's own. why I'll be remembered, mate. That's why people will remember me. I, I, I go in and I give it everything each and every time. I don't hold back. I, I, I lay me, me heart on my slave and I come to fight. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone, everyone agrees with that. Like, you have so many people following you, tuning in, watching, and like a lot of people are going to be watching you now on Friday to see can the, uh, the Irish guy get the win? Because if he does, that means more people are going to be invited over. And like, that's why we had to get you on to make sure people could download the app now. The link is in the bio to make sure not to miss on Friday. That's the thing. Without people helping promote guys going over these fights, people don't even know they're happening really. But uh, yeah. that's why we had to get you on, Craig. But like, like, what's the, what's the the rest of the week look like now? Like, uh, obviously, you're gonna try and cut down a bit more weight, but like, what what's what's it looking like for yourself for the in the build up to the fight now? So, uh, me me last uh, week today we done a little bit of strength conditioning and just hit a couple of rounds pads. Uh, tomorrow it'll be probably me me last two kind of not hard sessions but fast pace sessions if you get me. Then uh, we go to the hotel into the bubble. We got the COVID test and all that so that we, we can join the bubble. But uh, I think that's Wednesday we're going. And Thursday morning, we weigh in. 8, 8.30, which is great. So we get to eat really, really soon. Then <laughs> Friday morning, we get to whoop someone. I, I can't wait to see it. Um, Craig Coakley versus Dennis from Turkey. He's got a really hard surname <laughs> to uh, say, so I didn't attempt to say <laughs> it. Say yeah, so uh, it, it is it is definitely one to watch. Yeah, you download the app for free, and there it is, right in the palm of your hand. You have no reason not to, not to watch it. Support Ireland's own. Support Ireland's Muay Thai. Make sure you definitely watch it. Uh, Baz, anything else to add in? I was just going to say, that this is like, this would be like a sort of our Euros. Obviously, we have no Euros. I know you're the boy, that's not Europe. But like, we've like watching all these other countries celebrate. Like, I put on the Irish top just to make sure. Uh, like, the people on Friday, they can tune in watch you. There's like, there's more Irish lads fighting later on that night on Cage Warriors and stuff. It's just a huge weekend for Irish oh, combat sports. Oh. So like, Craig, like, we obviously, we're, we back you. We're, we're going to, we look forward to speaking to you after. And make sure to tune in to see Craig this Friday. It's going to be on between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. The link is going to be in the bio. So make sure to download the app. It's for free. And uh, enjoy the fights. And Craig, we look forward to seeing you perform, bud. You're up, lads. Thanks very much. I appreciate it, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Um, If you haven't watched this video and have enjoyed it, make sure to head over to Craig's Instagram. Give him a follow. And you'll see all the DCAA stuff there. And Colly Matten as well. Make sure to give him a follow as well. Ireland's best striking coach. No messing there. Without a doubt, um, like, without a doubt. And then if you have enjoyed the video, or you haven't, sure. whatever you want, give it a share. <laughs> exactly. Give it a subscribe. Give it a like. And as always, stay, stay energized. energized.